want to believe that part. Uh huh. Well, they said when they was getting ready to fight, Alicia Keys ain't had to take off no jewelry, no makeup or nothing. She all natural. But the other girl had to take off her earring, wipe, wipe her makeup off. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, they was getting ready to fight. Hold on. We live. Yeah, man, we live. Hey, bro, let me call you right back. How y'all doing out there? I got some old crazy news for y'all. Word on the street is Alicia Keys went off on Swish Beats ex-wife Mo Shonda because she used one of Alicia Keys beats. But everybody looking like Alicia Keys, you mad at her because she used one of your beats for her mixtape that ain't nobody gonna hear. But you stole her whole Swiss beats. That's something she ain't never gonna be able to get back. Mashonda didn't have the best looks, but she had a great man. She didn't have the greatest vocals in the greatest video, but she had a great man. She didn't have a great career, but she had a great man. And all that was stolen from a woman that got great looks, got a great career, know how to play the piano better than Ray Charles, great music videos, Alicia Keys got a great everything, but you're going to steal a great man from a woman that ain't got nothing great. We about to talk about that before we get into this news. I'm going to need y'all to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, baby. Also, hit that notification button, y'all. Don't forget to show me some love because all I ever do is show y'all some love. You understand me? Also, hit that cash app, dollar sign, Sean Blaze Dots. We about to get into it right now. Like I told y'all, this whole time, Mashonda ain't been doing nothing but biting her tongue and kissing ass biting her tongue and kissing ass and as soon as she said something back to alicia keys after all these years alicia went off talking about i ain't no home wrecker even though machine ain't even say nothing about her being no home wrecker now this all alleged news this what they talking about in atlanta they talking about this in new york city everybody in the streets talking about this even though it ain't making to the news yet so this all alleged but my question for y'all in the comment section is do you think alicia keys is a home wrecker and if you do let me know in the comment section why you think she a homewrecker. If you don't, let me know. They said Mashonda, after she broke up with Swiss Beats, eventually she had to join American Idol and get her career back going. She had to put on some extra weight. Now people calling her Jennifer Hudson. I don't know what's going on for real, for real, but we about to find out together. So let me go ahead and turn this music off because it's about to get real serious because they sister wise, they both with this man, even though he with Alicia Keys. He's still with his ex-wife and they talking about they one big happy family and everything. And that's what got me wondering. Mashonda must be a very, very nice person or she a super groupie because I can't think of no regular women that would be with a man and his new wife, even though you the ex-wife and you still want to be a part of the family. Maybe she was a groupie from the beginning and she just starstruck by Alicia Keys and Swiss Beats. But I don't know. That's Negro here nor there. I need y'all to pay attention to this, y'all. Here go Alicia Keys, Swiss Beats, and Mashonda sitting down talking about their happy marriage and all that craziness. Listen at this, y'all. Each of you, one word to describe your blended family. Flo, my inspiration. Victorious. Yes. Hold on. Y'all got to see this. this look at this, y'all. Each of you, one word to describe your blended family. Flo my inspiration victorious yes lord have mercy yes. <laughs> this is life today for mashonda t frere her ex-husband music producer swiss beats and swiss's wife singer songwriter alicia keys we love each other i mean we hang out with each other we go to dinner together our family is one big beautiful family we're doing thanksgiving hold on y'all y'all gotta see this i do apologize for the it bootleg is ism beautiful partnership but this very, whole relationship they got is bootleg is look at this y'all one word to describe your blended family flow my inspiration victorious yes yeah yes. this is like after you don't stole that Shonda T stole that woman's husband she's sitting in between the both of them y'all and this, look, I'm just going to get on with Her the news. Her ex-husband music producer Swiss Beats and Swiss's wife, singer-songwriter Alicia Keys. We love each other. Y'all got to see this here. She's sitting dead smack in the middle with him, talking about we love each other. Who loves who? What you mean we love each other? She was in love with him. He was in love with her. Where you come from? Sitting dead smack in the middle with this man and his ex-wife. But she talking about she ain't a home wrecker.
Listen at this, y'all. I mean, we hang out with each other. We go to dinner together. Our family is one big, beautiful family. We're doing Thanksgiving. We're doing... Look, look at their Thanksgiving table. I'm sorry that I'm going to be stopping. So I know a lot of y'all get mad when I do that. But uh, look at their Thanksgiving. It's only two other black people there. If you ain't light skinned, you, you ain't getting no turkey. You can serve the turkey. Alicia Keys got their light babies. Mashonda, the darkest one up in there. And ain't nothing wrong with having white friends or nothing like that. But damn, y'all cold blooded. Swiss Beats, bro, you ain't been keeping it real for a long time. And Alicia Keys got the nerve to have some braids. Come on, sister. Let's get back to this, though, because I'm already mad and I ain't even got started yet. Holidays. We'll do a birthday celebration together. It is a beautiful partnership. I'm very, very proud of that. It's a real yeah. thing and it's possible. But bringing their families together didn't happen overnight. It wasn't easy. It was a roller coaster ride. A lot of prayer, a lot of meditation. After painful divorce, Mashonda and Swizz, who share son Kasim Jr., now 11, weren't getting along. Things started off with um, a little bit of miscommunication and negativity. Something that was affecting their son. He wanted to know why I couldn't go see him at his dad's and why can't his dad come over and see his bedroom at our house. Because his daddy was laid up with Alicia Keys. Don't lie to that boy. Talking about their son was wondering what the hell was going on. Alicia was going on. That's why mommy and daddy ain't work out. Don't try to sugarcoat it and make it something that it wasn't. Be real, lady. They sitting up there lying to their kids. But I ain't about to lie to y'all. People that do anything to keep a little bit of change in their pocket, y'all. Keep on listening because it's going to get worse. It's going to get worse, man. It was really a wake-up call. Even if we don't want to for ourselves right now, we have to do it for him because he doesn't deserve this. Now, in her new book, Blend, with the foreword by Alicia and a chapter from Swizz, Mashonda shares what she's learned along the difficult but ultimately joyous journey to blending her family with her two co-parents and their two sons. Our community and our culture, we're so comfortable with being miserable, mm. being unhappy. I lived through a, a messy divorce. Listen at this, y'all. She said in all culture, we so used to being miserable and unhappy. She wrote a whole book about being Swiss beat side chick, even though she was his ex-wife. So y'all going to have to let me know in the comment section. Is we just so used to being miserable to where we not willing to accept our ex-wives, new husbands and make one big happy family? Listen at this, y'all, because I ain't saying that she said that. Look, miserable, mm. being unhappy. Hold I live. Ultimately joyous journey to blending her family with her two co-parents and their two sons. Our community and our culture were so comfortable with being miserable, mm. being unhappy. I lived through a, a messy divorce with my parents. Mm. And as a child, I remember the negative energy, the, the feeling of just not having any security in my own home. And that's just not something I wanted for our son. When you realize that, if your focus truly is the child and the well-being of the child, that's the ultimate, like, let me fix this now. you got to put your ego. big part All of the, the book way. is about ego. The ego is the biggest killer. Yeah. It's not as if you wake up and you go, oh, because it's going to blend our family. It's going to be smooth. <laughs> right. We're going to have this understanding. <laughs> so there was a lot of communication between you guys. There were mediators involved. Totally. Yeah. What people don't see... And I understand, you know, they, they, they see us here now loving each other, coexisting and getting along. But there is a whole middle that they didn't see. And that's. Oh, yeah, there's a whole middle that we didn't see. But Swiss Beat seen it right between Alicia Keys legs. And I want to tell you all this and a lot of people going to get mad, but I'm going to just be real about this. All this is is a brother getting with a light skinned sister. Light over dark. That's all it is. He was with a, a beautiful brown skinned sister. He said, man, I need to upgrade. And this sister right here is basically bowing down to their likeness. Well, I understand, you know, I'm not her. I ain't as great as her. I ain't as good as her. So I just play the background. Matter of fact, let me get the dishes and dust off the countertop. She willing to be aunt your mama for Swiss beats while he up in the big house with Alicia Keys. If this was slavery, they had she'll have on a big old gown, walk around the house, frying chicken, 
while Swiss beats up there in the master bedroom with Alicia, y'all. That's all this is. And for y'all sisters out there, if y'all feel like this is acceptable, let me know in the comment section. I'll cut this thing off right now. If y'all willing to accept this, him upgrading to a lighter, brighter female. Now, I ain't trying to make this about color, but you have to admit that's exactly what's going on here. Listen at this, y'all. Where we all put the work in on ourselves individually. We healed. We healed our children. We gave them an opportunity to see us growing. And that's the real blend. That healing is, it's the first step to blending. A turning point. Oh, they, they blended all right. Everybody in that family, high yellow. You the one he had to get rid of. We blended as a family. Not you, but everybody else blended all up. He blended. Alicia Keys, she blended with a whole bunch of stuff. You the only one that ain't blended with nothing. And that's why you play in the background. Listen, people don't know when they being used. Look at this, y'all. We healed our children. We gave them an opportunity to see us growing. And that's the real blend. That healing is, it's the first step to blending. A turning point I in the relationship. When Mashonda I bet y'all five dollars she don't talk like that when them cameras off. As soon as them cameras go off, she, I'm tired. I'm about to go get me a ham sandwich. And she's sitting up there while they kissing on vacation. She's sitting there looking stupid while he groping all over his new wife. She's sitting right there acting like she don't see nothing. Listen at this, yo. Alicia to Kasim's sixth birthday party. That was a pivotal moment because we had already been doing a lot of the work as far as communicating and really consciously trying to get to a new level of humanity with each other. So by the time that was transpiring, we um, we were in a really great place. Mm -hmm. And I felt like, you know, I really, I want Alicia to be here. And not only did she come, but she stayed until the end of the party. Mm -hmm. And that, that moment was our first time really hanging out together as a family. She ain't nothing but a clout chaser. Now, I know y'all heard what she said, but she talking about she had a birthday party for her son and said, I really wanted Alicia to be there. Well, ain't nobody show up to the party for you. As soon as Alicia got there, that's when the party really started. Like, yeah, look who I got here, y'all. Who, me? I, I know Alicia Keys. She'll be here in about five minutes. You owe me, chick. What you mean you ain't going to be at the birthday party? You stole my man, Heffel. Okay, I'll be there in five minutes. She got Alicia Keys by the balls. Like, you know you dirty. I could write another book about your dumb ass. Play with me if you want to. And you better bring some toys. We ain't got no cake, mama. Alicia, I'll be right back. She show up in 2.2 seconds with a cake. She got candles, balloons. You better. You in debt to this woman for the rest of your life. And Swiss Beast, I know he's still going over there tapping that ass on the late night tip. Talking about meet me in the barn at 3 o'clock. Got her ass in the barn. Put a do-rag on her head. He treat her how he want to treat her. Listen to this, yo. Uh-huh. Hey, hey. Hold on, wait a minute. Y'all gotta see Alicia Keys' grandmama. Wait to time. Look at this, y'all. Alicia Keys' grandmama got all the swag. A old white lady with a diddy bop. Look at this here. Really hanging out together as a family. Get it, Granny. Hey, 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 hey. Did y'all see that old ass lady? Let me run that back one more time. Cause she over there killing it in her rocking chair. Who bought Granny Keys to the party? Really hanging out together as a family. Hey, 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 hey. That's what I'm talking about. Look, just because she white don't mean she ain't got no swagger. Alicia Keys, her grandbaby. She leaned back on your ass like Fat Joe. <laughs> oh, this is the last time, y'all. Look at this here. As a family. Hey, 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 hey. Look, man, that's my favorite old lady. Let's get back to this, y'all. You wrote a beautiful song, Alicia, called Blended Family. The video, mm. everybody's together. Wait a minute. She got a song called, I ain't never know she had a song in a video called Blended Family with a bunch of old black and white people and a bunch of mixed ass kids. You would have thought it was Steph Curry was in the video somewhere. Look at this, y'all. A mixed family music video song of these called blended family the video everybody's together look at that oh my lord lord have mercy everybody blended up in the family shoot let's have smoothies what for we already blended hammer time 
Swiss Beats, what you done done, bro? What's really going on? Is he anti-Afro-American? That's all I see. Kasim had a reaction to that. He did. Um, it's one of my favorite songs. It's really my love song to Kasim and our our experience. And so we did the video, and we really wanted to make it exactly what it was, which is our life together. All of us, all of his brothers, his mom, me, his umi. I am totally his umi. Stepmom thing was never an option. Yeah, that sounds all it's the way wrong. It's just wrong. <laughs> it just does. It just sounds it's like... like this bad thing to it. <laughs> so um, umi which is so endearing. I mean, I call Alicia Umi yeah. all the time. I'm like, Umi, um, what time are you? <laughs> what the hell? Hold on. And I call Alicia Keys Umi. What's that? African for gold digger? Hey, Umi. I'm going to look that up. Calling that another woman Umi. Like, yeah, you a gold digger. Shoot, look up Umi in Swahili. Alicia Keys picture show up sitting between Swiss Beats and his wife, y'all. Listen at this. Um, I was like, it's beautiful, you know? Does this blended process ever stop? Or is it something you have to constantly be conscious of? It can't ever stop because our children are growing. They're going to have graduations. They're going to have weddings. They're going to have children. And so it's a continual flow. And we're partners. Yeah. Really, we're life partners. Mm -hmm. I remember one day, um, Shana said to me, you know, we're going to be grandparents together. Yeah. And I was like, Look, you can't tell me that they all not getting it on. If you that comfortable with his new family, you that comfortable with his ex-wife, somebody invited somebody into the bedroom, y'all. Because it's a whole lot of comfort sitting there. And Alicia dead smack in the middle. Now, this is all assumptions, but I can't think of no other way. We good. Oh, you good. I'm good. We all good. Y'all ready again? Swiss beats like, give me another five minutes. Hammer time. He put the remix on their ass. This time you over here. This time she over there. Rewind. Swiss Beats handling both of their ass. But the thing is, this woman, Mashonda, was with Swiss Beats before he was Swiss Beats. She was with his ragged ass when he was Swiss Cheese. Now he laid up with Alicia Keys, y'all. And she was the best man at this man wedding. And she a female. And she cool with them being together like that there. Listen at this, man. It ain't over. We just getting started. We're going to share. I mean, it's real, though. People don't think that far ahead. We're going to share grandbabies. It's I that real. So it gives me chills right now. <laughs> and it just it makes so much sense. It's <clears throat> Look at this, y'all. Like I told y'all earlier, they talking about they going to share grandbabies and everything like that. When Swiss Beats married Alicia Keys, allegedly she had to start her whole career over again. Got up there on American Idol. Now, you may not think she looked like Jennifer Hudson, but according to the streets, that's exactly who the hell that is, y'all. And now, Alicia Keys knows she ain't got no competition because her whole career flopped. Now she's sitting up there talking about, I'm Umi, and this other woman okay with that. Oh, hell no. I know that wasn't ASAP Rocky, Dutty Whining, in this girl video. Where the hell he come from? Not only is it a blended family, y'all got a zesty ass family too. Look, look at this boy. Hold on, y'all. It just it makes so much sense. It's so beautiful. A blended family. He rubbing his belly like he pregnant. Like, ooh, I got a baby on the way. Hammer time. Swiss <laughs> Swiss beats okay with all that. Listen, y'all. I'ma have to download that song. It don't sound too bad. What it do, what it do, what it do, nah. Hi, everyone. I ain't never say she ain't had no talent. We about to move on to some more serious news. Listen to what Swiss Beats had to say about getting with this young lady. He about to tell y'all how he met Alicia Keys while he was still married to his wife. And then y'all gonna have to let me know if y'all feel like Alicia Keys is a gold digger. Listen at this, y'all. I mean, my wife, you know, she has special powers. She, um, she does things that, you know, that only goddesses can do, I guess. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And to see her and, and her creative team come up with this 
um, um, along with iHeartRadio, come up with this amazing idea of synchronizing her song to the Empire State Building when she has the song Empire State with JN, her solo version, and just to just goals. Come on, yeah, Swiss. You're the one that told me about it. Yeah. I yeah, I sent you the link. Yeah, when you sent me mm. the link, come, I come, was like, oh! Come like, yo, people need to see it. I, I, yeah. Like, it's so big, I don't think, you know, me and Jay was speaking about it. He was like, yo. I, Hold on, y'all. He trying to talk about some other stuff, but Swiss, we ain't here to talk about that, bro. We here to talk about when you started cheating on your wife. Hold on, y'all. Y'all stay there, because we about to get into it. Who seen music on her? Hold on, we almost there. Y'all just stay tuned. Matter of fact, hit that like button and subscribe while I get this together. Because I need to hear what this fool got to say. Okay, here it go right here. I'm about to play it. But before I do that, let me see how many people up in here. Okay, 77 people hit the like button. Oh, I see y'all in the comment section. How you doing, Kitty Boo? And Bad Girl Marie? Look, Blazes Angels is in the building. That's all I need right there. We all we got, baby. So glad y'all can make it. I need y'all to listen to this because he about to say how he first met Alicia Keys, y'all. Listen. Had an official, uh, what I call the official first date. Yeah. And, um. Describe that too. Oh, man. You know, I was listening to Angie, and, <laughs> and she, she was, my wife did the in studio with her, and she was telling me that I was, she was saying that I was loud. And I was like, I was loud. But she didn't mean like on records, like, you know, she always thought I was like, you know, driving a Phantom and, you know, I was like, I was in that mode. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, and plus I love cars. So now that she understands, she understands that it's not loud as an art to me, you know, to the point where I actually build and design and do all those things. So the first date was at an art gallery and it was, I'm going to say the first official date. And, 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 and the story was, fuck it, let me rewind. He all over the place. <clears throat> he trying to check out his timeline. I'm going to tell you the first date, the first official date. Well, how long you was dating this woman when you was married? So my she ain't like that I had all these exotic calls. She talking about I'm loud. That's the reason why she was interested in you. Pull up in a phantom. He got a Rolls Royce. She checking you out. Why he got all them nice cars like that? You can't tell me Alicia Keys ain't know that he was married because everybody know that he was married. But still, she going out on dates with this man, spending time with this brother. Listen, y'all. I say that I'm going to tell you the first date and the and the first day. And I'm going to say the first official date. Right. So the first date, she was on break for something. And she, you know, we wanted to hook up just to have like some lunch. And then um, I was fucking late. Right. All right. I was like 30 minutes late, but I was 30 minutes late for a reason. So I call myself. Yeah, you was 30 minutes late because you already married, fool. Had to figure out something to tell your wife, had to get up out the house. Like, oh, damn. Swiss, can you change these diapers? Yo, yeah, hammer time. I got to hurry up. Got to go. Next thing you know, he getting in the car. Swiss, where you going? Come back. Be right back, baby. About to go get some more diapers. Hammer time. Next thing you know, he pull up on Alicia Keys, huffing and puffing. I'm sorry I'm late. I had something else I had to do. Yeah, your wife, nigga. Listen at this, y'all. Being Mr. Fucking Nice Guy and bag of surprises ass. So I'm, I'm, I've am I'm, seen a piece that, that related to, to her and me. You know what I'm saying? It was this painting of, you know, these pianos and paintbrushes and keys and stuff like that. So I thought it related. I was like, yo, you know, this it this is inspired by you. You know what I'm saying? So and then I had got her these glasses when it was in an air tape bag. And then so when I got there, you know, she's like about to leave. She's being like real stiff. Basically he explained it. He was late, had to leave his wife. He figured I'm about to trick off on her ass. He went to the Gucci store, got her a couple of bags, got her some pictures, some shades. He been tricking since the beginning. And then he finally get there and she got an attitude. Listen. Like not really fucking with me like that. Like I'm, you know, already not really vibing with the rapper shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Already not vibing with the rapper shit. Like you and your rapper shit, man. 
And she was just shaking her head. So I went and I put the bag and she looked and there was some glasses in there. But she was more interested in the bag that it came in. And then I said, wow, you know, um, she was like, who's that? I was like, you don't know about Airtay? She was like, yeah. I said, all right. I said, I'm, I'm going to teach you about Airtay. And she was like, okay. And then she went, you know, then it was over. You know what I'm saying? No hug, no nothing. Just some, I So basically he swept off her feet with some gifts that he got. I want to say this before we continue on, man. I was just about to tell y'all how. Once a dog, always a dog. Once a cheetah, always a cheetah. But if you got Alicia Keys on your arm, shit, ain't no point in barking no more. Ain't no point being no dog. You might as well get somewhere and sit down. I believe that's what he did. I don't think Swiss messing around on nobody because Alicia Keys, she ain't got to wear no makeup. She ain't got to get no surgery. She ain't got to do none of that. She just all the way there. And that's all the brother really need. Now, the woman he was with before, she was faker than the $2 bill. Y'all heard how she was talking. Don't get it wrong. She looked just like Chrissy from Love and Hip Hop. And he figured, I ain't Jim Jones. I might as well upgrade to Alicia Keys. I ain't mad at the brother, but damn. The only one that looked foolish in this situation is his ex-wife. And like I told y'all, Alicia Keys allegedly snapped on her ass. How you gonna steal one of my beats? Well, you stole Swiss beats, but that's different. I can't do a song on his ass. I used to. Well, tell me how. Next thing you know, they sister wives. But we about to continue on with this news. And I know y'all ready for some more information. I'm about to give it to y'all right now. Listen at this, y'all. Night on Sunday and all week. We're trapped. Guess who it is before I even play it? <clears throat> My arch nemesis, the evil woman with the big booty. Y'all know who it is. She excited about this. Two light skinned people together. She all over this like white on rice. Listen at this, y'all. Gail King about to take it away with Alicia Keys and Swiss Beats. Hammer time. Hold on, let me rewind this a little bit. Because look, Gail King can get it if she just be quiet from time to time. Just take them glasses off and lay down. Listen at this, y'all. Traveling down the road to the Grammys. Uh huh. Gonna be all right. No one, no one, no one. Oh, get away, what would I be for you? Her birthday. Happy birthday. And she looked good, y'all. Who that woman look good? She Damn. Sold more than 30 million albums worldwide. She's sexy. And one She's sexy, songs baby. It's like no one that you're hearing. Yeah. Now, and Empire State of Mind. Yeah. Well, the award-winning producer is Swiss Beast. Swiss well, Beast, rather, I'm he's a man. Oh, yeah. Like Ultralight Beam. Jay-Z's on to the next one, on to the next one. And Beyonce's ring Okay, the Gail, she going through the whole playlist. We ain't come here for that. Listen. Academy. This is what they said about why you're getting it, by the way. Swiss Beats and Alicia Keys set new precedents for excellence. Their contributions are paramount. That you two are an undeniable force in the industry. Mm. Yeah, and it's undeniable that their relationship is all wrong. They getting awards for being the home records of the decade. I don't think they should be getting no type of praises and accolades. People make it seem like their relationship organic. Listen to what they got to say, y'all. I like the sound of that. Mm. Yeah, that's, I like that too. We are. Okay, they're gonna give me a copyright strike with all this bullshit. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and um read this for y'all real quick. Now it's about to get real deep. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Also hit that notification button because I know what y'all came here for, and I might as well stop you know messing around. Get straight to it. Hit that cash app. Dollar sign Sean Blaze dies. We about to go all the way in. Got on my army fatigue. Got me a pimp cane and everything. I'm about to put it down on y'all ass. Dollar sign Sean Blaze dies. Here we go, baby. <clears throat> Without further ado, let's get in. What happened with Alicia Keys, her husband Swiss Beats, and his ex-wife? Y'all been waiting to figure out how this even came about. How did they marriage? get wrecked by alicia keys it says alicia keys and producer swiss beats have been married for almost a decade the couple boast about their happy marriage in interviews and on their respective social media pages but at one point beats was married to someone else in fact it's widely speculated that he and keys began dating while he and his ex-wife mashonda 
was still involved together. Look at there. They were still together and Alicia Keys was at their parties. Alicia Keys ate this woman food. Alicia Keys used their bathroom, ain't even light no incense up in there. And Mashonda walked in there and ate it all. Went in the bathroom with her mouth open. Turned right back around, acting like she ain't smelt nothing. Then Alicia Keys turned around and stole her husband, y'all. Look at here. Years of allegations and slander riddled this love triangle, but they have since rectified as friends and now focus on having a successful blended family. They some Creoles, y'all. It's in their blood, literally. Why can't we just be a blended family? Well, shit, both of my parents black. Black as hell, might I add. Y'all can have a blended family. Y'all ain't got no choice. What about me? Oh, Mashonda, just do the dishes. Listen to this, y'all. Uh, let me get it to where y'all can see it. Because <clears throat> it's going to get real messy. Mashonda accused Alicia Keys of ruining her marriage to Swiss Beats. Mashonda and Swiss met and began dating in 1998. She became pregnant, but had a miscarriage in 2000. Rest in peace. They experienced infidelity early on in their marriage with Swiss, with Swiss fathering a child, Nazia, while he and Mashonda were together. Look, once a sucker, always a sucker. This ain't the first time he did something like this. When they was together, she had a miscarriage. Come to find out, he didn't have a miscarriage with the other female. Had a whole nother baby boy. And he like, I don't know what to tell you, but I'm Swiss Beats. Either you're going to stay with it or not. Okay, I'm going to stay. So that let him know right then and there, I can do whatever I want with this woman. She a super groupie. She ain't going nowhere. Look at this, y'all. He had Nazia while he was still with Mashonda. She later revealed that she named Nazia. They married in 2004, and their son, Kasim Dean Jr., was born in 2006. So, Lord have mercy. <clears throat> he messed around on her, had another baby, and she stepped up to name the baby. The other girl looking like, I guess so. Shit. Is she retarded? Let me check her temperature. Maybe something wrong with her ass. Oh, you're having another baby? I want to name him Nessie. Like, bitch is my baby. It's, can it be our baby? Whatever he do, she want to do. Whatever it is you like. I'm about to get married to Alicia Keys. Whatever it is you like. I'm about to have her kids too. Whatever it is you like. They said she downtown Manhattan hopping on one leg and barking like a dog right now, y'all. Name the other boy Nazia. They married in 2004, and their son, Kasim Jr. Dean, was born in 2006. In 2008, they announced their breakup. Their divorce was finalized in 2010, the same year he married Alicia Keys. Lord have mercy. <clears throat> he had to wait it out. Wait for the divorce. On the same day they divorce was finalized, that's when he married Alicia Keys, y'all. Man, I swear, y'all sisters out there. Y'all be dying to get with these light-skinned brothers. But as soon as they get some money, they don't want to be with your ass no more. Oh, we going to have beautiful Swiss Beats babies. Oh, that's my man. I pulled him. He looked like he an A-Rab. We getting A-Rab money. Soon as he come up in the game, he left your ass for a, a white girl, basically. Same thing all them other brothers do. You know, why can't you get with a brother that look like you? You know what I'm saying? A brown skinned person for brown skin, dog for dog. Y'all don't want it like that. She could have easily got with uh, Peter Pablo or somebody with his mustache. But she ain't want to do that. Look at this, y'all. And she was a beautiful sister. Don't get it wrong, especially with all that makeup on. Look at her face color, right? And look at her chest. She about five different complexions. Her face looked like cream and her chest looked like dark chocolate. That's the reason why he left her alone. He said, hell, I need to get me the real thing. I'm sick of this imitation. Got to put her face on every time we leave the house. Now he with a woman that don't do none of that. So he feel like he upgraded. But if she just was natural and they have all them strings and things hanging around her head. Now, I know a lot of people going to get mad, but I'm just being real. If you want to keep your man. For y'all women out there listening, let me talk to y'all ladies out there. If you really want to keep your man, you're going to have to be real. 
because he ain't gonna be able to keep it real with you if you ain't keeping it real with yourself baby you out here fake he gonna find him something real you know what i'm saying look at this here rumors swirl that beats moved on with alicia keys and Mashonda addressed Keys in an open letter that she posted on Twitter. The media outlet wrap up shared Mashonda's note. She accused Keys of interfering with her marriage to Beats and starting a relationship with him while Mashonda claimed they were still very much together. Listen to what she said, y'all. <clears throat> she said, my marriage was not broken. As far as I knew, we were celebrating our son's birth and getting ready to celebrate our five year wedding anniversary. They was married for five years, y'all. If you are reading this, Alicia, let me start by this. You know what you did. You know the role you played and you know how you contributed to the ending of my marriage. Mashonda also claimed in the open letter that prior to her going public with their statement, she reached out to Keys several times to no avail. She later addressed the situation when she appeared on the first season of VH1's Love and Hip Hop. Lord have mercy. <clears throat> I told y'all, matter of fact, y'all gonna have to let me know if y'all feel like Alicia Keys is a gold digger. Now they all friendly. Now they all happy. Now they sitting together like everything is cool. But that wasn't always the case. They gave her that hush money every month. Now she ain't got no problem no more. Listen to what this woman got to say, y'all. Hold on, hold on. Listen to this. Let me get this together. The hell is this? This grow like from the beginning till now, and I'm so proud to be a part of it. There's so many great recipients tonight. Um, I'm just happy to be a part of them and. Wait a minute, this woman did a 360 on her face. She don't even look like the same person no more. Look at this, y'all. She look like a completely different person. Hold up. God damn it, it's all over the place. Hold on, look at this. I'm presenting and it's a lot of positive energy in the room right now. I am presenting to Esther Silva Parker. She is, um, she's done a lot of work in the communities and She's a great woman. I did my research and I'm, I'm really proud to be doing this for her. Man, we don't want to hear about her music and stuff. Ask her I'm about Alicia Keys. Wait a minute, y'all. Because they be asking these people like they care about what else they got going on in their life. We don't care about that. Talk about what happened between you and Alicia Keys, man. Listen, y'all. I don't want to talk about him. <laughs> He's living his life and I'm living mine. Okay, she don't want to talk about Swiss B. She messing up my whole broadcast with her wishy washy ass. Okay, let's get back to this. Then we're going to get into some more exclusive news. Look at here. Both Keys and Swiss Beats refused to comment on the issue for the sake of the children involved, but they denied that Keys broke up their marriage. He alleged that he and Mashonda were broken up for nearly a year before he began dating Alicia Keys. He lying. It was also later revealed that Beats had fathered another child outside his marriage with Mashonda. Man, look. Fathered one kid. She named that baby. Fathered another one. She said, oh, I ain't going to be able to do this one. Name him Dookie for all I give a damn. Oh, you want me to name your son? How about Big Head Bastard? Name him that. Like, I ain't going to be able to do it. Alicia Keys, Mashana, and Swiss Beats make amends after years of battling, including the child support battle in 2010 that resulted in Beats paying Mashana over $333,000 in back child support to their son. Well, that's why she happy then. She like, okay, I can get used to this. You gonna pay that and you gonna pay some more? Okay, we one big happy family then. Beats and Keys reached an impeccable place while promoting her book on co-parenting with Beats and Keys, Mashaun despite candidly about taking almost a decade to get to a peaceful place with her ex and his new wife. Like I said earlier, they paying her ass. Every month, every week, she getting paid. Whatever she want, whatever she need. Y'all a power couple, guess what? I'm in the couple too. Because y'all was wrong. He was wrong. You was wrong. And y'all know when you divorce somebody, you can basically take everything they had. If she wanted to really be nasty, she could have took Swiss Beats to the cleaner. 
but they came to an agreement. Why take him to court one time and get all this money when I can just keep on taking them or he going to have to keep on paying me before it get real messy. Listen to what she had to say, y'all. Women in Black. Today we have a very special guest, Miss Mashonda. So we're going to get right into it. She wrote a book called Blend. You all, you all may have heard about it by now. You've definitely seen it. Look, look at her book cover. I swear she sold out to the highest power. The name of her book. And if y'all want to check it out, feel free to check it out. The name of her book is Blend. The Secret to Co-Parenting and Creating a Balanced Family. That got sell out written all over it, y'all. Blend. Okay, let's see what she got to say about her little book. Seen it on her Instagram. She's been all over social media. So we're going to get right into it because I have a million questions for her. Yes, <laughs> I bought the book. I went to the book signing. I went to the talk last yes. week that mm -hmm. you had with Alicia That's Keys right. and yes. Swiss Beats. Yes, so these guys are truly blended. Truly, truly blended. And mm -hmm, uh, definitely. You know, before we start, I want to say this. I see the comments. I see the comments on social media. I see the things that people say, and they are undermining the things that she shared in this book. They are undermining the healing process, and it just speaks to the level of healing that needs to happen amongst the community, amongst the family system. You guys know that I teach the systemic approach from the family. So um, we're going to talk about what she did to heal herself. Hold on, y'all. Before we continue on, I'm over here thinking about it like, man. Would this really be a bad thing if baby mamas started getting together and raising their kids together? Look, y'all both had babies by the man. Regardless of what y'all think about them, y'all might as well be one big happy family. That'd probably be better for the kids. Y'all gonna have to let me know how y'all feel about that in the comment section. Matter of fact, let me get on Amazon, order this woman's book. Because maybe she got a point. Let me see what she got to say about all this because I'm on the fence. Because there's plenty of women out here mad at their baby daddy. Mad that he moved on and got a new family. Maybe you need to get with the program, chick. You don't have his kids. Ain't no other man going to step in and be with you and take you seriously like that. You might as well get with him and his new wife and y'all blend y'all family together. I don't know. We are about to hear what she got to say. So um, in your book, in the very beginning, you were talking about when you're in the throes of conflict yes. and before the healing, before you acknowledge that healing needed to start. And you said, you know, I took to social media mm -hmm. to speak out. Can you speak on the effects of social media and what it did to you and how it prohibited, how it inhibited healing? Mm -hmm. Well, social media is a gift and a curse. We, mm -hmm. all, we all know that. Mm -hmm. um, and I feel like when you're hurting, uh, when you need validation, when you want to voice your opinion on something, you jump right into the matrix, the digital world. And well, that's what you better do if you're trying to sell some books. You know what I'm saying? Forget what the media talking about. People going to talk all day long. If he paying you that money like how he's supposed to when you selling books and everything, she all about that money. But I can't be mad at it. Might as well get that money. Because they damn sure getting that money. Don't forget about Mashonda. You're not dealing with souls. You're not dealing with people. You're dealing with everyone's alter ego or whatever's mm -hmm. behind their screen. That's what you're dealing with. So you get a lot of empty interaction. You get a lot of... Hey, soul. man, Mashonda, I'm over here trying to get these people some good news. You're going to have to spice this shit up. Because she over there trying to be professional, got her white girl voice on and everything. Let's get real. Listen at this, y'all. Turn this around. What was the turning point? What What was the action that happened yeah. to where you said, okay, we can't coexist like this any longer? Well, there were many things. Um, and in the book, I speak about a few of them. Mm -hmm. But I think the main thing was my son, you know, his interaction. She's boring. Look, I could see why Swiss Beast divorced her ass. She's straight up boring. She ain't got no personality. She ain't got no nothing. She be sitting up there talking like a robot. I would have left her for Alicia Keys too. She not animated worth for damn. She basic. Her music ain't no good. Swiss, I understand. Because this one put me to sleep. With her phony ass. Well, I just thought that I should be with Alicia too. And we should bring our families together. What was he thinking when he got with her ass? That's what I want to know. She's clearly a gold digger. 
Matter of fact, I'm going to listen to a little bit more, but I ain't going to be able to take it too much longer, man. Based on the energy that he was feeling. Oh, my uh, God. From, you know, his father. Oh, and my God. Himself during pickups or drops. Oh, you know, children oh pick up on all that God. Stuff. So was it a contentious pickup drop off? Was it just not speaking? Yeah, look, both of them phony. <clears throat> I'm trying to get some good information. Look at their heads, y'all. She looked like a goddamn reindeer and the other one looked like a horse. Y'all need to start running track or something because this ain't entertaining. And the book ain't no good neither. Look, y'all could check out the book if y'all want to, but we about to move on to something more interesting. Get these Shanikas, get them up out of here. Okay, we about to get into this. Songwriter and author who's very public and controversial split from her now ex-husband and super producer Swiss Beats put her on private life Front and center. And in recent years, she's reconciled with her ex and taken what many would view as a traumatic situation and turned it into a new book, Glenn, The Secret to Co-Parenting and Creating balance, a Balanced Family. She joins us now to share how she got on the path to healing and healthy co-parenting. Please <coughs> welcome down to the circle. Yeah. Mashana T. Bear. Okay, okay. Yeah. Where you at, baby? Before we get on with this, I, I just got to express how sad this is that sisters have to resort to writing novels about their baby daddies because he married somebody that was more famous and more pretty and better than me. And I decided to humble myself and just put my head down and into their circle. I'm still here, Swiss. Let's let's do a blended family. I know I ain't what you want. You left me for her, but eyes are here. That's like Miss Sophia being with Harpo and his new girlfriend. Harpo, who's this woman? Bow your ratchet head. This is my new lady. Yes, sir, sir. This ain't good for the people. But maybe y'all think so. Listen at this. Amazing. So do you ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Oh. Sit on down and get on this purple <laughs> pillow, child. All right now. <clears throat> All right, Mashonda, we're yes. talking about blended families, and we're gonna get into your book a little bit later into this segment. Mm -hmm. But this is the holiday season. Yes. So now that things have changed for you as far as your family dynamic, so what do you guys do to celebrate the holiday season? And what do you guys plan to do for this Christmas holiday? So this Christmas holiday is unique. It's a first for me because I will be without my little boy <gasps> for the first time ever. And, um, you know, we have these conversations early on. What, who's going to have the baby mm -hmm. or, you know, Look how we're going to split the day. Beautiful. Thank Beautiful. you. So uh, Alicia sent me a text and she said, you know, we're thinking about uh, going to Arizona this Christmas. And I was like, huh. Oh. Okay, but I had him for Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. and you know, I, in these moments, as mothers, as parents, we have to remember it's not about us. What the you hell? Know, Hold on, wait a minute. What the hell is she talking about? Alicia Keys telling you what she gonna do with your child, and you talking about you got to remember it's not about us. Well, well, who the hell is it about? If you supposed to be the parent, you letting this woman run your marriage, run your household, run every look. Alicia Keys shouldn't be able to tell you a goddamn thing. I got a text from Alicia Keys and she told me we're going to Arizona. So, <laughs> your groupie ass, been a groupie, still a damn groupie. Alicia is the boss. I call her Umi. You need to call her a goddamn homewrecker and quit this foolishness out. Listen at this, man. It's, it's not about us. We have to just really put our children first mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. and their experiences. And with that, I was able to let go of my fears mm -hmm. and really just support him because I know that he wants to spend time with his brothers. Yes. And yes. So he will yes. be in Arizona and I'll be here in, you know, with my family and friends. <laughs> she gonna have a TV dinner for Thanksgiving. Wow, Alicia Keys and Swiss Beats and all their kids gonna be down there living the life with they blended family, her black ass ain't invited. They gonna have turkey, ham, mashed potatoes, potato salad, cranberry sauce, baked macaroni and cheese, and she gonna be sitting up there with a hungry man dinner 
watching old episodes of Love and Hip Hop, the one she was on, and she happy about it, y'all. Listen. And, and look, you get to go do your thing. Exactly. You get to have a baby exactly. Show. exactly. Like, yes. Yes. <laughs> so, okay, Michanda, why this book? Why blend? We see a lot of families that you know have this co-parenting situation, mm -hmm. especially uh, Will Smith, Jada Pinkett. Yes. You know, why this book? And did how much did Swiss and Alicia? Um, contribute to the content of this book. So I wrote this book because... Hold on, y'all gotta see this, man. Because this woman is clout chasing like a motherfucker, y'all. Her book, talking about forwarded by Alicia Keys. She using Alicia for clout. Forwarded by Alicia Keys. This woman cannot be serious, man. This some sad business. Make a whole living... Off of your husband's new wife. So I wrote this book because it's the book that I couldn't find when mm. I needed it. Oh, my you know? God. And I was going to bookstores, checking online, like, how do I do this? How do I create? My main thing was I wanted to figure out how to create a relationship with the woman that was taking care of my son. I ain't got no man. I ain't got no job. I don't know how to sing that good. I ain't no good actor. Somebody yelled out, bitch, write a book. You, you know what? I, th I think that's a good idea. You know, there's one thing I can do. I can possibly write a book. I mean, I do have drama. And I don't want to slander Alicia Keys because she has more fans than me. But maybe if I write a book, her fans will become my fans and his fans will become my fans. And we can just have a Big blended family. Mm -hmm. And mm. I couldn't find it. And so I, I just started turning all of my journals into a book form. Mm -hmm. And um, Blend came to life. Oh. And I, I came to Swiss and Alicia and I, I told them about the project because I felt that in order for it to be authentic, it couldn't only be my voice. Mm, that's right. You that's know, right. I needed their voices too because we're all blending together. Yeah, that's right. And they grace. We all blending together. They all getting busy. Alicia, I'm writing a book and I would love for you to write something inside of my book. And Swiss, 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 hammer time. Can you write something in my book? Because I'm talking about having a blended family. <laughs> He had to be looking at her cross-eyed, like, what the fuck, like, bitch? Okay, I'll write the book, no problem. Thank you, Swiss. Fully accepted. And it, it was just a back and forth project for at least two years, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And um, turned and she, out perfect. And she wrote the forward she, to yes, the book. How did, she, she did. how did you come about, how did she come about? Well, how was that? Um, how was that? How was, I can't think of the word, child. How did she come the into process? Yes. Process. yes. And, yes. and, and how, how did you get to the point where you were okay yes. enough in your relationship oh, to make yes. that come to fruition? Absolutely. So we definitely got to a point, um, I'd say about six years in, mm -hmm. where we were flowing. I like to use the word flow because it's so natural. It's a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And um, I asked her, I said, would you like to write the forward? I think it's important for you to write the forward. And um, she agreed. Yo, I got to read this forward to this book. Cause I can only imagine. Hello world. This is Alicia Keys. I'm writing this forward for the bitch. I took her man and she ain't never going to get him back. And while he's my husband, I feel like it's only right for me to say a few words about this chick right here. Since y'all bought the book, she ain't never going to get what she really want. So the least thing I can do is write a thing or two about her ass. When I was going platinum and winning Grammys, her ass was on tour with SWV when they got old <laughs> me and swiss beats good we got a couple of million in the bank before you know we're gonna have a billion dollars hopefully this book sell a lot that way this chick will quit asking us for some money sit back and relax and hear about how i stole this woman's man <laughs> her kids ain't really worth a damn but they come around from time to time since they mama so lackluster i figure hell the least thing they can do is be around some real celebrities <laughs> Enough about me. Y'all stay tuned and get ready for the book. I need to read the forward to this book. Alicia Keys wrote it about the, the ex chick that used to be the main chick. This is bad for the people. Listen at this, y'all. And Swiss wrote a chapter dedicated to fathers. 
which See, is super powerful. That's super dope, too. Oh, yeah. So dope. And he really went in and broke it down on how fathers have to start figuring out ways to embrace their children's mother, regardless mm -hmm. of where they are. And um, <clears throat> because it's not about the mom, it's really about the kids. It's about so. the yes. child. Yes. And so he she needs to change the name of her book from Blended to My Dumb Ass. And she got Swiss Beats in the middle of the book. He wrote a whole chapter about how you're supposed to upgrade and treat your baby mama like she important, even though she not. Just to save face in the relationship. For your son's sake, it ain't got nothing to do with her raggedy ass. We just so happen to have kids. What about his other baby mamas out there? They need to write some damn books, too. They'll probably be more interested in her book. He got about five baby mamas, but that all stopped when he got with Alicia Keys. Listen at this, y'all. Do you consider yourself a single parent? Because actually the <coughs> dynamic has changed. So has. Um, how, how do you consider this blended family now? Okay, so the single parent thing, you know, it... I don't dislike it, but it's it's different for everyone. Mm -hmm. In yes. my case, I consider myself more of an independent parent. Mm -hmm. um, but they are so present, and I can reach out and ask for help and assistance at any time, so I don't feel single in it. Right. Yeah, I, you know? I, I have to commend you for this book, because a person can be married and still be a single parent. Yeah. Absolutely. You can still be a single mother, and you yes. can still be a single father while you're no single. No, the hell you can't. Sometimes that one Don't, person who takes She's on. sitting up there lying. Talking about a person can be married and still be a single parent. Well, what's the point of being married then? That ain't how marriage works. Who told this woman about marriages? Obviously, she ain't never been married before. You can be married and still be a single parent. No, you can be an idiot if you married and you still a single parent. Most of the responsibility. Of so I yes. really commend you for being that voice yes, that people you. can't find in the bookstores. Yes. And Mashonda, we thank you so much for being here. We really enjoy having you here. And thank you can purchase you. Mashonda's new book, Blend, yes. The Secret to Co-Parenting and Creating a Balanced Family Wherever Fine Books Are Sold. Thank and of you. course, the conversation continues at Sister Circle TV on all social media platforms. Yay. Stay with us. <laughs> I don't think I can take no more of that, y'all. She got a book out there. Like I said, if y'all want to check out her book, Feel free to do so. I know she would appreciate it. Alicia Keys would appreciate it too. Now we're about to get into some other stuff, man. This lady, she be reading tarot cards and everything. We about to get into the metaphysical. Now don't be scared. We just gonna see what she got to say about Alicia Keys and this young lady right here. So she about to break it down for y'all. We about to get into it, man. So I need y'all to pay attention. But before we do that, and um, for y'all people watching the video, I really do appreciate y'all. And if you want to leave your two cents, but you ain't got a dollar to get in the live chat, you know, I'm going to pray for you even more. But in the meantime, man, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. I really do appreciate y'all for tuning in. But we're about to get into this. So y'all pay attention, open your ears, and we're about to get into it right now. All right, here we go. This ex-wife here, okay? Hold on. I still feel like this, is, there, this man still has something for her. I still feel that he has something for her. Unresolved issue, e a resisting transition. Look at this, y'all. Emotional bad. She doing that voodoo. Something there for this person. Listen, y'all. There's still some love for his for his ex wife here. Okay. Wow. Okay. Um. Let's ask this next question. Does Mashanda still love Swiss beats? Uh oh. She getting her cause together. A love relationship, not just a friendship. Uh oh. Love relationship. Do Mashonda still love Swiss Beach, y'all? Intimate way. Connection. This kind of scary. I ain't gonna it's lie. Interesting that he he felt stuck, but then it feels like the energy of a person who was just not ready, shouldn't have been married, and feeling stuck and wanting something different, but still having a connection towards this person. This is why you have to be careful about getting married when you're not ready. Mm -hmm. How does Mashonda feel about him? Hmm. <clears throat> this is an energy just around a, a person who feels like he created a lot of issues and strife in her life, right? This is a person who feels like she's had time to really, she really, she went through it. This is a person who struggled a lot emotionally. Um, this is an energy around a person who just felt like she was like, what the hell being lied to. A Hold lot on, of what the fuck? A lot of Wait a minute, uh uh. I ain't fooling with this hoodoo stuff no more. Did y'all see that? What the fuck? The hell? 
the hell going on? Uh-uh, get this off my screen, man. I ain't going to be able to. What the? Uh-uh. Matter of fact, turn that off. I ain't going to be able to do it. I don't play with that. Mm-mm. It's time for me to get up out of here, man. Y'all going to have to let me know in the comment section. Do y'all feel like Alicia Keys a home wrecker? Y'all going to have to let me know in the comment section. I don't play with them tarot rolls or nothing like that, man. Matter of fact, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel, too. Also, hit that notification button, y'all. I really do a... What the fuck? I, oh, hell no. I really do appreciate y'all. But I got to get up out of here, man. Pops. All over a box of corn pops This rhythm got your pop